The primary role of an alliance military force is to protect peace and to guarantee the territorial integrity, political independence and security of the member states. The alliance forces must be therefore be able to deter and defend effectively. The alliance operates in an environment of continuing change and remains subject to a wide variety of military and non-military risks that are multidirectional and often difficult to predict. Our forces contribute to promoting stability throughout the area by their participation in military to military contacts and in other cooperation activities and exercises under the partnership for peace program as well as those organized to deepen relationship with crucial countries given the multinational and joint character of allied operations coherence and interoperability between those national force contributions have to be enhanced the adoption of common doctrines procedures and standards as well as the need for alliance forces to train exercise and operate together is imperative hence the need for the multinational exercise programs hello everyone and welcome back for an another important session of the series of the important military exercises of the indian armed forces where in which i am discussing with you about the next important military exercises of the indian air force in the first part of the indian air force i have discussed the important exercises and in this particular session i will be discussing the remaining important exercises where in which the indian air force was a very crucial integral part where in which the first two videos in which i was discussing about the important military exercises where in which the indian navy was participating if in case you have not observed or gone through those two important sessions i request you people to please go through all of them and then revert back to this particular session before beginning i would like to remind you that ssb crack exams is always the most sought after android application by millions of students and defense aspirants across india who are dreaming to join the armed forces of our country we provide you unique lecture content hundreds of study material thousands of sample practice questions exercises quizzes and many more our mock tests are made specially keeping in view of the latest exam patterns so please download the app and subscribe to your favorite course also please do follow us on all social media platforms to keep yourself updated with the important indian and international inputs beginning with the first and foremost exercise that i want to discuss in this particular session is regarding the exercise red flag which is a multinational exercise you can call the multinational exercise as the multilateral exercise also so this particular word can also be termed as the multilateral okay both multilateral and multinational they both give the same meaning so this is a very crucial point that we have to understand so red flag is a very crucial exercise it has been hosted by the united states and its allied nations so the participations were done by that so who hosts the red flag is the united states air force is that particular one that hosts this particular one okay so regarding the exercise red flag the marine commandos of the united states the air force of the us the navy all the important different fields of the united states they come together and the air forces of the various other countries which are the, which are allied towards united states and which are very crucial partners and neighbors regarding any particular deals let it be territorial or it it be bilateral or defense related ones all of them will join together in this particular exercise this is a very cost provoking exercise because uh, this particular exercise wherein which it involves the participation of crucial countries like france germany britain and various others so it is a very costly exercise so india does not participate in every exercise of red flag but it does participate it had last participated in the year of 2018 and it was around 16 days that india was participating in this particular one and it was conducted at eelson united states air force air base in alaska okay so this was conducted in alaska from 28th of april 2018 all the way up towards 13th of may 2018 and from our country which all are those aircraft and what are those things that have participated in this particular red flag we have to understand that four sukhoi su30 mki aircrafts four jaguar aircraft jaguar aircrafts are the deep penetration strike aircraft so this is a very strategic aircraft that we have then two il78 mid air refueling aircraft so because these are two big big aircrafts and we had also participated with two c17 globe master 3 strategic airlift aircraft also so around 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 so it will be around 12 different aircrafts along with various other hundreds of indian air force personnel have participated in the exercise red flag I would like to give you a very detail regarding the exercise red flag flag exercises are conducted under the aegis of the United States Air Force Warfare Center at Nellis they are run by the 414th combat training squadron of the 57th wing they use enemy hardware and live ammunition for bombing exercises within the adjacent Nevada test and training range 
first held in 1975 red flag exercises bring together air crews from united states air force united states navy united states marine corps united states army and numerous nato and allied nations air forces the united states air force has cancelled the phase 1 of the red flag scheduled in alaska from april 30 2020 due to the covid-19 pandemic indian air force was to participate in this particular exercise but we were unfortunate because this exercise is cancelled the united states air force is has cancelled the uh, phase 1 of the uh, this particular red flag exercise the indian air force joined red flag for the first time in 2008 in nevada however it had said it would not take part in every edition of the biennial exercise because of the high cost involved the goal of the exercise red flag is offer realistic air combat training for military pilots and other flight crew members from the united states and allied countries i repeat offer realistic air combat training for military pilots and other flight crew members from the united states and allied countries going through with the next important exercise that i want to discuss regarding now is about the exercise pitch black which is a multinational exercise so those countries that have participated in exercise pitch black they include the hosting country which is australia then comes new zealand united states of america singapore india indonesia france then comes netherlands germany thailand malaysia and canada all of these countries are those important nations around 12 countries have participated in the exercise pitch black and they have participated for around 22 days from 27th of july 2018 all the way up towards 17th of august 2018 at the royal australian air force base darwin and the royal australian air force base tindall in australia so all of those these two are the important australian air bases they are at darwin and tindall at two bases this particular pitch black exercise was conducted and from the indian air force side four su30 mki a crafts one c130 j hercules and one C17 Globemaster aircraft have participated and from the other remaining 13 countries around 100 aircrafts from other countries were also present we have to understand that indian air force has participated in this exercise for the first time recently australia has informed india that exercise pitch black 2020 was scheduled to be held from 27th of july to 14th of august it has been cancelled due to the covid-19 pandemic the next edition will be held in the year of 2022 exercise pitch black is a biennial three week multilateral air combat training exercise hosted by the royal australian air force it is based on the memorandum of defense cooperation in 2006 the joint defense declaration on the security cooperation in 2009 and the bilateral framework for security cooperation which has been signed in the year of 2014 this exercise ensures that the training and integration of the forces that occur during this exercise directly supports the air force's stability to conduct and operations australia recently suggested the trilateral cooperation among india australia and indonesia to identify new ways for the collaboration for the safety and security of the indian ocean the goal of the exercise pitch black is ensuring that any future bilateral trade in nuclear related material or items for civil use will be protected i repeat ensuring that any future bilateral trade in nuclear related material or items for civil use are protected regarding this particular exercise going through with the next important exercise is regarding exercise blue flag which is also a multilateral exercise this has been hosted by israel okay so one exercise that we have seen the multilateral exercise one is hosted by united states of america then another one is hosted by australia okay so the red flag is hosted by america then comes pitch black that is hosted by australia then comes the blue flag this is hosted by which country it is hosted by israel and the participating nations they include united states of america india greece then comes poland germany france and italy okay so these are eight strategic nations that are participating in blue flag exercise they have participated in the euro of 2017 and this exercise was around 5 days it has it was conducted from 2nd of november 2017 all the way up towards 6th of november 2017 and where was it conducted sir it was conducted at ufda air force base in israel the units that have been participated in the blue flag exercise they include super hercules c130g special operations transport aircraft and garud commandos unit from the indian air force 
from the Greece, Poland and United States F-16 fighters came into use. Then the France F uh, Mirage 2000 D fighter aircrafts they came and the Tornado aircrafts came from Italy. The Eurofighter Typhoon aircrafts came from Germany and from all the nations that are participating in the Blue Flag exercise C-130J Hercules is a familiar platform to all the participating nations. We have to understand that Blue Flag 2017 adds an important layer to the matrix of bilateral defense cooperation which has encompassed import of niche technology and equipment, staff talks, reciprocal visits of chiefs of armed forces, port visits by ships of Indian Navy and among the other interactions. For Israel, the Blue Flag exercises are an important effort to enhance its military diplomacy footprint and provide an opportunity for its pilot to train in a multilateral setting in their own airspace. The Israeli Air Force, in fact, began these multilateral air exercises ostensibly in response to being denied permission by Turkey to take part in the 2009 Anatolian Eagle Air exercises after Israeli's cast lead military action in Gaza. Nevertheless, India's first ever participation in multilateral air exercises on Israeli soil undoubtedly builds the path-breaking visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Israel in July of 2017. The goal of the exercise blue flag is to simulate extreme combat scenarios and coalition flights as realistically as possible. I repeat, simulate extreme combat scenarios and coalition flights as realistically as possible. Going through with the next exercise is regarding exercise CM Bharat. CM Bharat is an exercise which is done between both India and the Thailand Air Force. Okay, so the Royal Thai Air Force is that particular one that is being coming into consideration regarding this particular exercise. And this exercise was conducted in the year of 2017 from 22nd of May all the way up towards 26th of May. It was around five day exercise. It was conducted in the Thai land at Chiang Mai. Okay, so the units that are participating in this particular exercise that have participated, they are actually not known. The complete details are not known, but I would like to give you the details regarding this particular exercise that the bilateral exercise is aimed at evolving standard operating procedures for planning and executing relief missions during unforeseen natural calamities like tsunami, earthquakes, cyclones, floods, etc. This exercise will also enhance interoperability between both the air forces. The Indian Air Force and Royal Thai Air Force will undergo combined air operations triggered by a crisis. The exercise would assist in laying down procedures and establish decision support system at various stages of relief operations. Indo-Thailand CM Bharat 17 Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Exercise has took Indo-Thailand relationship to a new height. Both air forces have learned how to complete rescue operations during the natural calamity which is very important for disaster management of the country. We may witness such kind of bilateral exercises in the near future. The goal of the exercise CM Bharat is planning and executing relief missions during unforeseen natural calamities. I repeat, planning and executing relief missions during unforeseen natural calamities. Going through with the next important exercise is regarding exercise Desert Eagle 2. Okay, exercise Desert Eagle is that exercise which is, which is being conducted with the United Arab Emirates Air Force. It was conducted for around 11 days in the year of 2016 from 24th of May all the way up towards the 3rd of June. Where was it conducted, sir? It was conducted at the Al Dafra Air Base. The moment you see this particular name, you have to remember that it was this particular same base wherein which the first five batch of Rafale aircrafts they have stopped at Al Dafra Air Base in United Arab Emirates and then they came back all the way up towards India and they have landed in Ambala Air Force Station. So if you can remember that, so again it was the same Al Dafra Air Base. So it was in the year of 2016, both Indian Air Force and the United Arab Emirates Air Force have conducted this exercise which is a very very crucial exercise. We have to understand that the Indian Air Force's Sukhoi Su-30 MKI have been participating along with the Mirage 2000 and F-16 Block 60 aircrafts of the UAE Air Force. To get in detail that it is pertinent to note that India and United Arab Emirates have strong bilateral relations which dates back to more than hundreds of years. Both the nations have demonstrated keen resolve to engage each other in multiple facets and take the relationship to the next level. Defense cooperation between the two nations gained momentum after signing of the Agreement of Defense Cooperation during the visit of the Chief of Staff of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces to India in the year of 2003. Notably, the Indian Air Force had participated previously in Desert Eagle 1 in 2008. A wide variety of missions were flown under the beyond visual range environment which, with varied levels of complexities. Mission commanders 
from both the sides have participated in the exercise and availed this opportunity to maximum to draw valuable operational lessons the goal of this particular exercise is to build and promote bilateral relations and enhance interoperability i repeat to build and promote bilateral relations and enhance interoperability going through with the next important exercise now we are discussing is about those that are, that are completely only regarding the indian air force specific ones and now we are discussing about exercise gagan shakti this was conducted in the year of 2018 and this is considered to be the largest ever uh, complete air show that has been given by the indian air force and this was a very very important exercise that we have to remember where was it conducted it was conducted in the pakistan china border at the times of 8th of april 2018 all the way up towards 22nd of april 2018 okay so those units we have to understand that to conduct this particular exercise indian air force has mobilized more than 1100 combat transport rotary wing helicopter aircrafts apart from 300 officers and 1500 airmen we have to understand that in a massive show of strength the indian air force conducted gagan shakti 2018 which is termed as the biggest ever war combat game exercise on the pakistan and china border to show its dominance over indian ocean region the first phase of the exercise began on april of 10th in which the focus was on the western border with pakistan in this phase su30 and jaguar fighter aircraft equipped with the potent brahmos and harpoon anti ship missiles addressed in depth targets over the western seaboards the second phase of the exercise involved activation of the western central eastern and the southern air commands during the exercise fighter jets carried out search operations by generating the maximum number of sorties in a 24 hour cycle and conducted long range missions with concentrated live and simulated weapon releases across all air to ground ranges in the country more than 11000 sorties were flown which include approximately 9000 sorties by whole and soul fighter aircrafts themselves the goal of the exercise gagan shakti was to practice its combat drills and carry out operations in a realistic scenario i repeat the goal of the exercise gagan shakti was for the indian air force to practice its own combat drills and carry out operations in a realistic scenario going through with the final exercise that i want to discuss is now regarding the exercise iron fist okay iron fist is also an indian air force specific exercise and it was conducted on 11th of june 2018 and it was a one day exercise it was conducted in the pokhran testing ranges which is located in thar desert in rajasthan and in this particular exercise su30 mki hcl tejas surya kiran aerobatic team the garud commando forces and other more than 180 fighter jets the transport aircrafts and helicopters from the indian air force have participated and this was a very important exercise that we have to consider The Iron Fist 2013 was the Indian Air Force's first day night exercise. It was conducted on 22nd of February 2013 at the Pokhran firing range. The live telecast was also made by the Indian Air Force to showcase its capabilities and it was accompanied by music and live commentary describing the aircraft capabilities, missions under progress, target, weapon drills, pilot and crew names and also live footage from the cockpit. The exercise showcased offensive operations like destroying communication centers, runways, hangars, fuel and ammunition buildings, etc., deep behind the enemy lines. Iron Fist 2016 was held on 18th of March 2016, and it featured the participation of 181 aircraft. 103 of them were fighter planes alone. It also included a display of the firepower of the Tejas light combat aircraft for the first time. The goal of exercise Iron Fist. is to display network centric operations capabilities of the indian air force i repeat it is to display network centric operations capabilities of the indian air force that is it regarding the complete details of the exercises that i want to discuss with you wherein which the indian air force is a very crucial part that you have to understand and remember jointness and integration of the military is an inevitable requirement for the modern day battlefield the principles underlying these features are inter service cooperation and economy of effort both of which are crucial to war fighting a military exercise or war game is the employment of military resources in training for military operations either exploring the effects of warfare or testing strategies without actual combat This also serves the purpose of ensuring the combat readiness of garrisoned or deployable forces prior to the deployment from a home base. 
I hope that this particular session was very very helpful and useful for you and if in case there are any other doubts or queries regarding this particular complete session or if in case I have missed any important exercise please do mention in the comment section so that we will add up in the coming up sections. I hope that you have already gone through the previous sessions and if in case you have not gone through the previous ones please go through the previous session so that you will understand what I am trying to say in this particular one also. So in the coming up in the next sessions I will be discussing about the most important military related exercises wherein which Indian army was a major important part and it has done its best and it has shown its capabilities regarding that until then stay tuned to the crack exams subscribe to our channel download our android app from google play store always stay safe stay healthy be confident keep smiling Jai Hind.